Hello. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to create curved segments within ArcGIS Pro as you're editing your data. So as you can see, we're back into ArcGIS Pro. And what we're going to do is digitize the ed edge of pavement for the road you see on the screen. We're going to start by making sure we're on the Edit tab in the ribbon and verify that our Create Features pane is open, as you, you see it is here. Uh, if it was not open, you'd click the Create button here to open this pane. And in the Create Features pane, this is where we access our feature templates to create new features. We also want to verify in the Contents pane over here that the Edge of Payment layer is editable. So we just click on the list by editing and then verify that it is set to be editable. And, and we can see here that it is. So with that, we're ready to begin creating our Edge of Payment. We'll start here on the west side of the road and I'm going to begin by drawing this straight segment. So we'll click over on the line tool, verify it's down here, and then begin drawing the edge of the road for the length that it appears to be straight. So we're going to come down until it appears to start to enter this curve going into the side street. So we're going to come down to say about there. Now we're ready to begin drawing this curve in here. So we're going to come down here and choose our Arc Segment tool. Okay. Verify we've got the starting point of the arc. Pick somewhere along the arc and then come in until that curve uh, is complete or begins another curve. So we'll, you know about here and just double click. So now we've created that edge of pavement and with this curve that heads into this side street. Okay. We now want to create this side of the road, this edge of pavement, and we're going to use the tangent segment tool, the tangent curve segment tool here to do that. So first, just like we did before, we're going to come down with the straight segment for this side of the road until it starts to go into this, this wide curve. So we come down to say about here, then we're going to choose the Tangent Segment tool and kind of follow that along, just kind of eyeballing where that curve ends. Double click it. So now we've created a segment that's got this curve in it so that this curve is tangent to the straight segment we started with. The next tool we're going to look at is the endpoint arc segment. So this is where we're going to specify the starting point of the arc, the endpoint of the arc, and then either the radius or um, identify the a curve point in the map itself. So we're going to select here and say we're going to draw this curve right here. So we'll pick the starting point here and then say that it looks like that curve, it starts to kind of switch back this way right about here. So I'm going to come out, match that up. Again, I could hit the uh, R button and specify the radius. So make it an even, say, 33 feet. And there we go. We've now created that curve, at which point we could go into another tool to finish drawing this side if we wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Well, let me just F to it and then delete it. Because you'll notice that this side of the edge of pavement is actually made up of a series of curves. So this might be a good example of when to use the Bezier curve. Okay. So again, we're going to start by drawing our kind of straight segment over here for this side. And then where it goes into this curve, we're going to go ahead and pick this Bezier curve come out to where that, from this point over to where that curve, before it switches back here, uh, ends. Pick that. Then we're going to start using this kind of uh, tangent line here to, or construction tool to control where that curve is in the radius. So we click there so it kind of matches things up. Now we've got this other curve coming around into here. So again, kind of picking where it ends and then again trying to use this line to 
match it up. Notice as we rotate it around and make it longer, it stretches and adjusts the curve. So say somewhere about there. And then now it's curving back this way. So again, where it curves back, clicking to there. And then again, using this line to adjust that curve so that it matches up with what we're seeing on the screen as best as possible. Okay. So got a little squiggle there. Not sure I did that, but you get the idea of how that tool is going to work, creating those complex curves. Now, once that's in there and selected, of course, we can go in and modify things by adjusting those various segments that we were working with before and adjust, you know, making changes to that to get it to better fit. Okay. Now, one thing I should point out with uh, drawing these arcs and curves is that I'm working with a, a GeoDatabase feature class here. And GeoDatabase feature classes do support true curves. Shape files, on the other hand, do not. So if you were trying to do this as a shape file instead of using these actual arcs, you would have to come in and do what we well, affectionately call a multi-point polyline, uh, so that it's basically going to be a series of straight segments that we just click, and every vertice is a segment, but because it's so short, it gives the uh, appearance of a curve. So again, that these true arc tools only work with geodatabase feature classes. They do not work with shape files. Uh, if you were to convert these to shape files, which you can get as straight segments that go from the starting to the end point of the, the arc, it's going to flatten that out. So that's an important thing to note. So there you go. You've seen some of those uh, curve tools, arc tools in action and how they work within creating new features inside of ArcGIS Pro. I hope this has given you a better understanding of how those tools actually work in situations where you might want to use them. If you happen to have any questions, please feel free to contact us via our website or phone or email. And remember to help support us via Patreon and our merchandise channel. Thank you.